What's up, peeps? How you doing, eh? How you doing? It's February 22nd, 20 and the 19, huh? And this is the snow aftermath for the town of Big Bears, huh? Well, here we go. Let's take it to drive, huh? And I cannot stand this stupid, stupid GPS system I have here because when I, when the phone rings, it says, how can I help you? Like I'm saying something. Anyway, it is uh, February 22nd, 2019, 26 degrees, 10.54 in the AM skis, guys. So what we are gonna check out, guys, just how gorgeous the town is. It is clear as a bell. You can see from, and I can see from miles and miles. Guys, it is just spectacular, man. Ugh. Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes. So, what we've got going here. Oh, hang on a sec, guys. Let me just get that piece of ice. Thank you. That piece of ice had to go, and I was going to be the one to send it. All right. So, this is the most snow we've had in two seasons, guys. Last season, we didn't get anything like this. Um, and yeah, so this is pretty exciting. Someone told me through a, a comment, and they seemed pretty certain about it, that Big Bear hit a record for February. It had, had over 80 inches of snow. At my house, we maybe had 25 inches or 30 maybe for the whole month, but I know just another 1,500 feet higher up in elevation, that actually could have happened. Um, so that's super, super cool. We have some people on my channel, our, on our channel, who are debating that, but I don't know what's up for um, if it's a lot less or if it came close, but I don't think someone would just make that statement for nothing, guys. So this is Stanfield Cutoff. That's the lake, you guys. That whole white area down below the mountain, that's the lake. And then this side's over towards Baldwin. And that's kind of a lake also right now. It's so beautiful, you guys. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love you all so much. This is so unbelievably gorgeous. But yeah, so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm so in heaven right now. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the, the regular tour around the lake for the, the complete tour. Hope you guys enjoy. This is the snow aftermath in Big Bear Lake, California, guys. February 22nd, 2019, temperatures 25 degrees. Yes, 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 yes. It is the lake looking so gorgeous out over there. This looks spectacular. If I had some socks on, we'd be good, but I don't have any socks on. I'm wearing shorts like a schmuck. I want to walk out on the lake, but not on, not on the lake, but you know what I mean, out on the beach.
That is incredibly beautiful, but my hand is incredibly frozen. And now we're gonna pass this guy in just a minute here because he's just lagging, lagging up the Lagostuskis. Lagging the Lucas. All right, so we're gonna put the phone on its rack for a moment. Voice command, shut the front door, bro! Sorry about that, guys. That is really, that guy is almost as irritating as me. Save you guys the trouble for talking shit, and I'll talk shit ahead of you, huh? How about that one, huh? Look at this guy. What a pun. What a bonsky. Just a bonny. Oh, wow. Look at him in the... F is that a Florida plate? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I haven't been to Florida in a few years. Last time I was in Florida was actually for my uh, Panama Canal cruise. We had to be in Fort Lauderdale for the cruise. But I love Florida. For six years straight, my dad... Um, he would invite me out to his timeshare twice a year for two weeks at, at a time in Kissimmee and we would uh, he, He'd buy the five-day park hopper passes all the time and we would just have a great time then we would we We would golf at all the great golf courses out there like the Disney course uh, Just 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 all of them and it was just amazing amazing. I love that man to death. I love all of you to death and uh yeah, I'm loving this weather. I'm just full of love today. I'm full of love today, today, today. All right. So guys, this is just fantastic, huh? It's fantastic, fantastic. Wow, wow, look, wow, look at wow. All right, I'll shut up so it can stay beautiful. <coughs> it almost sounds like a flat tire. Wouldn't that be just marvelous? Don't you get Don't you get Entering fawn skin, guys. Population 380. Oh shit. Did you guys see that, man? Holy crap. That CHP guy was hauling, almost hit me. He almost hit me. Guys, imagine that, man. What a payday that would be for me, even though I would never sue the police department for an accident like that. That'd be like so weak. These people are out protecting us and dealing with uh, people trying to start race wars because of their political biases. It's unbelievable. Jesse Smollett, hopefully someone cuts your head off in jail, brother. Because that's where you're going to go and you deserve it. Piece of shit, little bitch. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. I just hate hate people trying to make light of fake issues. Like, I don't see any racism falling from the trees. I've never seen it in my whole life. But, hey, then again, Unfortunately, it's what the media wants is they want to see racism all over this country because then they can take uh, The left can take power and uh, pretend like they care until they have full full power and uh, they're the ones who are the most racist so it's, uh, it's, 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 very, it's very funny how crazy the projection is Like uh, like it's yeah, it's the weirdest thing. But anyway, that's enough politics for me right now Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir I love my country and I love you guys, man. And I don't want anybody arguing or fighting over nothing. Like, if if there's gonna be arguments and debates about stuff, at least make it over real issues. Not just, just uh, you know, thrown, thrown together frauds, fake issues. I, I, I mean, yeah, the... <laughs> Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up about that stuff because I could go on all day about how fucking, oh my gosh, there's my language about how freaking moronic this country is. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I must be racist. <laughs> oh God, you, you guys' time is coming and it's coming fast. It's coming fast. You guys are playing with, with, a, with a blood and it's gonna be all over you. Anyway, anyway, that's it for that. We're in Fawnskin, folks! Woohoo! Woohoo! 
Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, dude. It's like driving up in Mammoth. It's just magnificent. Oh my God, look at San Gorgonio, guys. It's those big mountains beyond the, the, uh, the, the little ones in front of us. Oh my gosh, just amazing. But we got cars behind us, not too close behind us, but so I, I can't really slow down too much because I'm a considerate driver. But I just wanted you guys to see how unbelievably gorgeous it is. And uh, yes, yeah, so we are in the Fonskin area. Downtown Fonskin will be up in just a moment. And I am gonna try to shut up, guys. It's just every time I try to shut up, I see something else that looks gorgeous or I start thinking about something because my mind never shuts down. So I'm just gonna shut up for now. And by the way, you guys, L-A-M-P, that's the acronym for her name. She is one of our YouTube friends. Um, she knows that I like to play music in the background, and unfortunately, a lot of my videos get blocked worldwide when I, when I put music in, and it's the most amazing videos ever. But the whole point is that L-A-M-P, she actually like made some, some freaking music and said that I can use it um, with, without infringing on any copyright laws so that's very cool you're a sweetheart i appreciate you big time and uh i'm looking forward to playing that video <coughs> <coughs> or uploading a video with that music in the background <coughs> i don't know if you guys can can really see but through these trees it's just a magnificent magnificent area right here Oh man, just Alright guys, so we are driving through downtown Fonskin at the moment. Yes, the moment. Oh, look at the snow plow, the snow blower. I like those things. I just get worried because I always worry that like if you suck up a pine cone or like something, what's going to happen? I have a little snow blower. And actually, this is the type of storm that I could have actually tried it out with, but I'm just too lazy to freaking do that. So anyway, let's see if I can shut up. I know it's going to be quite the test, guys. Let's see if I can shut up for uh, till we get to the dam. Not one word, unless it has to be spoken. Then I'll be saying something like about look out that direction towards that particular, you know, um, you know. Anyway, I lash you. I lash you. I lash you. Okay, San Gorgonio straight ahead at the very top up there, guys. I heard they have about 15, 16 feet of snow up there. Ow!
It's so beautiful. Oh shit, shut up, man. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that guys, that's Snow Valley straight ahead. That big white clump, that's Snow Valley. Way out in Running Springs. Had to talk, had to show you, peace. Guys, this lake looks incredible. Holy cow. Well, you guys deserve it. You guys are worth it. And I know there's such thing as gloves. I know there is. behind us for miles so we're just gonna go slow right here so you guys can see the road closed with your own eyes so 
So obviously there's not going to be any traffic over here. This is going to be an amazing spot. Okay, that spot right there, that's Snow Valley Ski Resort, guys. They got pummeled with snow. I think they even got a little more than us, even though we got a bunch. Okay, so we're going up to the gate. So you guys can see that it's, it is locked down, yo. It's locked down, yo. Wow, look at, look at, look at that, folks. Look at how deep it is over here. Just locked down. Lock it down, big man. Lock it down. Man, if we were a little bit lower. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But how cool is that, guys? Look at that. I mean, that's that's the little Arctic Circle right there, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Little Arctic Circle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Maybe we could do a donut right here real quick. Just, you know, how? what do, what do you guys say? That's not really a good donut, so we're just gonna have to do it again. But there's a, there's a ditch to the right. I'm a little bit nervous about that ditch, but yeah, these donuts are not working out, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. <coughs> All right, so this is as if we're coming into town, guys. So. We just crossed the little Arctic Circle, even though we didn't. And this is what it looks like coming into town. Kind of like Snowmageddon, you guys. Snowmageddon, yes. Yes. Ah, ah. Came from that. Guys, do you see how much snow there is? It's insane, you guys. Holy moly, look at how high those freaking berms are. Way above the car. It's truly spectacular, guys. I, I freaking love it. I love it. Just look at how beautiful it is. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Oh! Oh my God! Man, I wish Mother Nature was single. I'd be with her so fast. I'd teach her a lesson or two. I'll show you some snow. Oh, that, that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. But you guys know me by now. I'm inappropriate, but not in a, like, like I'm a nice, normal, normal guy. Look at how slow this guy's going. Like, literally two miles an hour, maybe. Maybe three. It's okay. I'm not going to scare him. But look, yeah, just literally just driving like a donkey. But it's okay, as long as you're safe, that's all. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, that is super cool, I love it when people are considerate drivers like that. It's all you gotta do is just pull, pull to the side and you're gonna help out the whole traffic situation, guaranteed. But anyway guys, so this is what we got going down, man. Big Bear's, Big Bear got hammered. Big Bear got hamskied. And uh, we are all very, very, very happy. Very happy to see, eh? Very happy. Okay. I'm telling you, man, these snow berms are humongous. And this, this area got a lot of snow. I bet they got almost two feet over here. Because last night when I came down, or uh, this morning when I came down to my car after I thought that all the snow was, to, well, I, I, I knew that last band was coming through, that's why I recorded, but I didn't expect it to dump another couple inches, which it did. I woke up this morning, my car had snow all over it. I was like, damn. Dude, look at how high these berms are, you guys. Are you kidding me? They are high. All right.
right, so. Guys, thank you so much for cruising along with me. I love having you guys here with me. Um, when I'm talking, it really feels like you're here with me and that's so unbelievably cool. Um, I'm not crazy or nothing. I just, I, it's just, it just, it's just so awesome to have you guys here with me, figuratively, metaphorically. Let's go on the disc. Oh, look at the trees, the fall of snow. 23 degrees, folks, 11, 19 a.m. We're 26 minutes into this, this mall freaking video. This mall freaking, look at this guy, right in the middle of the street. There you go, buddy. Oh boy, park in the middle of the street. We need more signs with like bigger, bigger writing and and bigger uh, finds. Okay, guys, we're coming up on Boulder Bay. Bay, folks. Get a grip on the phone a little better here. Oh wow, look at these ho these homes, dude. Unbelievable. If you guys want to see the most beautiful town in the world, look at Abkenu, Austria. It's our sister town. All right, guys, we made it through the Boulder Bay Park. So now we're headed back to the homestead. We're gonna drive through the village and then this video is gonna be all done with once we get home. I love you guys very much. It's a, a true, true honor, true honor working with you. Working with you. <laughs> Doing this for you, actually. I love you guys, man. Guys, look at how little traffic there is. There's nothing. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Wow, slow down now. <laughs> There's a car in front of us. It looks like a police officer in a truck. Maybe not, huh? Maybe not. It's got a lot of snow on the roof, huh? It might be, it might not. Let's we'll see, huh? Nope, it's an old Jeep. Look at all the snow on the roof. Dude, that guy got like two feet up there. What's going down? Guys, look at this town. Look at this town. Nice again, nice. These nice bastards. All right, so yeah, guys, this has just been a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I really hope you guys are enjoying it because it's just a bluebird day in Big Bear. Bluebird, Big Bear, Bonanza. 23 degrees, temperature keeps just dropping, folks. But this is the last day our temps are gonna be below freezing. It's been almost two weeks straight, guys, if, if you can believe it. It's, I think it's the longest stretch that we've had since I've lived here of cold temps, um, must be global warming. <laughs> sorry guys, I just had to get that in there, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the ignorant people out there. All right, so, um, how dare he say that? How dare he say that? <laughs> Cause I like to argue with emotion, not fact. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm not a liberal. Ah, oh, no, okay, never mind. Okay, I need to shut up now. I need to shut up now. Not that I care about losing any uh, fans or anything, because uh, I am who I am, and people need to accept me for me. 
I accept everybody. I just disagree with people, but I accept everybody. Half my family I disagree with, but I love them to death. So just as long as you guys are aware of that. So anyway, I'm gonna shut the front door for a moment and let you guys just try to enjoy the beauty until I interrupt it rudely with my annoying self. That's Magic Mountain. <laughs> See, there we go. That's the one of the sled parks, guys. Magic Mountain, Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. So we are going to go through the village. Because it always looks really, really, really adorable when there's snow. So, And there we go. Welcome to the Big Bear Village, folks. This is Big Bear Lake, California. Once again, this is the snow aftermath of the major snow systems that we had. And guys, my time lapse that's been going since, since that heavy rain that we had a week ago, or almost a week ago, it's still going, but I but I noticed two nights ago when it got really, really cold, it must have just stopped. So we might have like a half a day missed, unfortunately, of some really good stuff. And I'm really hoping that's not the case, but I'm gonna get that time lapse going tomorrow. They're going to get it going tomorrow, yes. All right, so guys, I'm gonna take the the back streets home so you guys can see what it's like. If you wanna to get to like Bear Mountain or Snow Summit and you're in the village and traffic's a nightmare, check it out, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna teach you guys from right here, okay? All right, you guys are gonna be golden. So we are on Pennsylvania, and we're gonna stay on Pennsylvania until it dead ends. And then you'll see where we go from there. So this is Pennsylvania Avenue, but there are no presidents living here. All right, so once again, you guys are fantabulous. I love you. I love you. I love you a lot. Oh, I love you. Gorgeous guys, oh my gosh. Just spectacularly beautiful in here guys. So this neighborhood got a ton of freaking snow. Like we're gonna drive by my friend's house and I'll just kinda point in that direction and look at the roof. Look at these roofs as we get closer this direction. If you guys can like tell. There is so much snow on a lot of these roofs. And then when we get up to my friend's house, well that's another friend of mine right there. He is a waiter, or, yeah, a waiter at uh, Peppercorn. But just look at these roofs, you guys. There's so much snow. Uh oh, hello. Look at all the snow on the roofs, guys. That's insane. Anyway, peace out, guys. So we're on Pennsylvania. We're gonna stay on it till it, it dead ends, and there is a dip right here, but. You know, don't even trip, because it's just a dip. If you're gonna trip, then I say take a sip. And smoke some of the whippity whip, 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 whip. All right, we're making the left. So this is Jeffrey's Road. So basically, you're just gonna stay on Pennsylvania from the village until it dead ends. Make a left and then make your first right. Make the first right, huh? Gotta make sure I can't see any cars coming down there. It's unfortunate, but we gotta do it. All right, so. Now we, we turn right on Oak. Oh, dude. Great place to park, man. So my, my friend slash neighbor was supposed to get the other side of my car in terms of the ice. 
and he didn't. <laughs> it's all good though. He well, he wasn't supposed to. He was freaking being generous as hell to help me out. But I, I can hear it that it it it's like when I speed up, you can hear the, the tires rubbing against the ice. That's not good because that can explode my freaking tires. And I need to look at that. It slammed on the brakes, and we were able to stop. So. The first street you see right there before, or right where it says no through traffic or uh, dead end type thing, you turn left at that street and that street at the moment, guys, what street is this? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I feel like a jerk. Um, I told you, my GPS isn't on, oh, Eureka. So Pennsylvania, then make a left on Jeffries, a right on Oak, a left on Eureka a right on whatever we're on right now, which I will find out in a moment. So, left, straight, left, right, left. Now this is Wren. This is the, the, the street that, uh, um, yeah, it's Wren. So, okay, we were on McWhitney Lane. McWhitney Lane, look at these moors. And then not the first right, but the second one is called Brownie Lane. And this will take you all the way to Moon Ridge and you'll pass Summit Boulevard. So Summit Boulevard is what Snow Summit Ski Resort is on. And you'll be able to make a right turn on Summit Boulevard and be just about at Snow Summit. So it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, guys. So this is Brownie Lane. town just looks magical you guys it just looks spectacular i love you guys man you guys are awesome it's a real pleasure doing this for all of you and uh as i always say it, it, it keeps me sane believe it or not so this street right here thrush this is the street that carl's jr is is on but why that's important for you to remember is that this is one other way to get to snow summit but it's typically the exit coming from this way you'll get a lot of people coming down from from that direction because that's snow summit up there but unfortunately, there's just there's just uh, there weren't for some reason anybody coming down. I think because town is so hard to get to today, you guys, that these ski resorts are going to be the most amazing places today. Kind of like some of my ski videos that I have. There's only two or three of them over the past three and a half years, but one of those uh, nobody could could make it up the mountain, and the whole town had the ski resorts to itself, and it was unbelievable. Like I probably saw like a hundred people total. <laughs> it was amazing, you guys. And I wish that again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Yes. Ah, oh, shit, man. Okie dokie, all the chokey. Alright, so we are still on Brownie Lane, folks. Coming up to the Brownie lot. You guys can see by the sign. So the Brownie lot is the um, one of the satellite parking lots for the Snow Summit Ski Resort, and it's called Brownie Lot because we're on Brownie Lane. What's up, dude? How you doing, dude? How you doing? Snow Summit parking, eh? Look at all these people, man. Just in droves. Want to take a dump over there in the porta potty? That sucks, man. I hate using those things. Especially for dropping diddity deuces. Diddity do. Uh, diddity do. So, guys, that is the snowfall aftermath for the town. Yeah. 
go. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank God we don't have to go far. All right, guys, we made it in one piece. Thank goodness. And yeah, we probably got a total of like 15 inches over here too. Anyway, I love you guys so much. We're charging through my neighborhoods, through the little snow tunnel right here. Looking good, yeah. I like it a lot, yeah. Now we're gonna back this biatch in. Guys, I love you very much. Excuse me for some of my cursing this morning. I did not, that wasn't intended to be there, but um, you know, people like me for who I am and I'm appreciative of that. Because even though I curse sometimes, I, it's not in like bad taste, like hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. Um, I do try to watch it, but forgive me guys. Anyway, I love you very much, peeps. It is 24 degrees. 11.35 a.m. We're going to get this uploaded right away. Let's see how fast it takes. In Big Bear Lake, California. Peace out, folks. Unbelievably gorgeous.